Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about February 4th, uh, League of Legends slate. Um, it's a five-game slate, so it's an exciting slate. Um, you know, five-game slates are usually the best kind because we it just gives us so many options and so many different ways to build our roster and lineups for DFS purposes. So yeah, we have a lot to talk about. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So in the LPL, we have Team WE versus OMG. Uh, it's more of a toss-up in my opinion, but I'll tell you why I like the underdog in this matchup. And then Invictus Gaming versus Thunder Talk. Um, Invictus Gaming fight as a favorite at minus 260. And usually they're not a favorite in these matchups, but they are because they've been just on a very hot streak. And then we have BLG versus Weibo Gaming, which is the marquee matchup in the LPL today. Um, both teams, solid, solid rosters, but I do think uh, Weibo Gaming will prevail, but I'll, I'll talk about why BLG is a live underdog today. And then in the LCK in Korea, we have HLE versus DRX. I think HLE coming off of that big win uh, against T1, I think HLE... Should be the favorite here. And then T1 versus Nongshim. I think T1 should pretty easily hand, hand, handle this after coming off that loss. So, um, but yeah. So yeah, it's, it's exciting. Um, If you like our videos, uh, if you like the contents of our videos, if you have any other suggestions, please let me, please let me know as well at DFS Chan. But if you like the video, please, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. So yeah, in the LPL, we have Team WE versus OMG, as mentioned. Um, so let's just look at the roster. Um, statistically, um, Aki and Hung and Jungle actually are pretty much comparable. Like, they're neck-to-neck -neck, um, in all the stats, really. They're both, like, mediocre, serviceable serviceable junglers. Um, Hang coming into this season, though... You know, there were some some question marks replacing Beishang for Team WE, but he is actually decent. Um, he's actually been pretty decent for that team as Team WE is, I think they're two and one in their series. So, you know, they've been playing really well compared to OMG, who's been kind of struggling a little bit, but they still have a pretty solid roster with Shanji in the top lane. Cream and Abel are both you know, they can both pop off in, in certain team fights. So, yeah, Team WE versus OMG. I looked at some stats. Like I said, I think I think the difference maker is going to be Hope. Hope's uh, numbers are really, really good this year um, compared to Abel's. Um, I think Hung and Aki, like I said, they're both, like, very good supportive junglers. Neither of them can, like, really carry a game. Um, which is like a meta jungler at the moment <laughs> for elite teams who can actually, you know, um, put put their teams on their back and actually carry the team to a victory on carry champions. But that's not who these guys are. And, yeah, you know, accordingly, they are, their stats are kind of just eh, mediocre. But I do think Hope, like I said, as long as he... Uh, gets a lot of resources put into him, um, just like their last series against Thunder Talk, I think it was. Um, I think Hope will make a big, big difference. So I like him as a player um, as well, like for DFS purposes, if you are looking for a captain suggestion. Um, I like Team WE um, with stacks today. I do think this game, though, presents a little bit of a lower kill upside compared to the other two Chinese matches. Um, but you know, any any LPL match can blow up, right? So um, I do think Team WE is a good pick today. I like the underdog in this matchup. No real gap in jungle between Hung and Aki. I do think Shanks obviously can hold his own against Cream. So I think all the other roles will be about the same, like neck to neck. But I do think Hope versus Abel, I think that's going to be a difference maker. All right. The next matchup is IG versus TT. Like I said, IG has been a very surprising, uh, pleasant surprise in the LPL. They're undefeated. Um, I guess Thunder Talk. Um, 
they should win, right? Like they're they're in really good form. But like I said, this this could be a good good potential letdown spot for IG. Um historically when IG is a favorite, they just did not perform well. But when they're an underdog and you know, and that's been the case most of the season so far already, and they've ex- exceeded their expectations as as an underdog by winning the games straight up. So, um, but now they're a huge favorite. I think they are the biggest favorite on the LPL side of it. Yeah. Um. So for what it's worth, I think it's a potential letdown spot, but I think with the Koreans coming in. With Gideon and Dove, uh, Gideon has been playing much better than Beichuan statistically. I like Gideon, uh, it, you know, with this team. I didn't really like him in LC- LCK when he played there, but um, and then YSKM has been, I mean, he has been amazing. Like he's been one of the best top laners in the L- LPL so far, and he will dominate Hoya. Oh, yeah, I think that's gonna be a big, big um gap right there and then like i said gideon has been playing better and then dove i mean he's been okay but Juan Feng, i think he's a little washed up now i think on and wink should be able to handle them if not go even in that bottom lane so i'm gonna have to go ig but like i said i don't know i'm, I'm not gonna have like 100 ig but this is such a great spot in terms of kill upside for both teams so i think that that naturally makes thunder talk a good GPP play just from the kill upside standpoint. Um, you know, for those DFS players who are interested in just like playing the ES esports DFS, this is one of the macro strategies, like looking at the kill upside and just play the underdog, right? In case, you know, make that make them a long stack. Like have four players from Thunder Talk today, like if you are interested in playing that at angle where Thunder Talk is playing in in the game where they have the, you know, there's the most kill upside. So yeah, so feel free to play Thunder Talk if you want from you know from that angle, but but I do think in terms of match prediction, I I have to pick a team right. So IG should win here today, I think. And then BLG versus Weibo Gaming is the next last matchup. Like I said, it's a marquee matchup of the day. Um, both Carsa and June have been pretty good. Carsa actually has been pretty impressive. And Weibo Gaming's new roster, they've been playing pretty decent. The Shy has been the Shy in the top lane, just dominating, you know, lane dominance, <laughs> exerting lane dominance, basically. Um, but, I mean, he's going to have a hard time against Ben. Um, I think they're both going to have a hard time against each other to exert their dominance, respectively. So I think that's going to be a pretty wash-up, you know, matchup there. And June and Karsa. I mean, I prefer June over Karsa. I think Karsa has been okay, but June is like up and coming jungler that I really, really like. But the statistically, Karsa actually has been playing a little bit better than June. Then Xiao Hu versus Yagao. That's a classic veteran mid laner matchup. Both are pretty good mid laners. Now in the bottom lane is it's what it gets interesting, right? Like I like Elk and I like Light as well. But statistically, when I saw it, Elk and on, I'll show you. Um, I kind of want to show you what I'm talking about. That's that's the difference makers here. So this is the website that I use to looking at, look you know to look up some stats. If you're interested, uh, Weibo Gaming and BLG. So usually I look at the metric called EGPM, which is the earned gold um, per minute. Um, you see here, like. Light actually is up by a lot, uh, uh, not by a lot, by a little bit. But you see here, the difference maker is he dies a lot. He dies a lot, and then his KDA is not as good. And then his damage percentage, where is it? Uh, it's not as good compared to Elk. So, I mean, like, just given all of that, I mean, it, it's, it's also, you know, it can be misguided because... Light has only played three games, and then Elk has played six games, so there's a bigger sample size for Elk. But I just don't think Light has been that good. Um, I think Elk has been pretty, uh, pretty good, and they he, they've been better. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with BLG. I know BLG is the underdog, but I'm gonna go BLG. I like June a lot. I think statistically, Carsa 
is better because they played against some bad teams. I want to show you. Um, so Weibo Gaming, as you see here, I mean, they played against top esports and they won. And then, let's see. No, I guess I guess I was looking. Uh, let me see. That's way we'll get me. Okay. BLG has played against JDG, who I think is the best team in, in the um in the LPL that they lost, which I, I get it, right? And then FPX has been a de decent team, medium team. Now top esports has been pretty good, but not as good as JDG. Um I mean I, I guess I wouldn't call TS a bad team. So I'll take that back. But um I just don't know. I, I just feel like that's just pretty impressive how BLG has once gone six games with JDG and FPX. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick to my gut. I'm going to go with BLG. Um, BLG wins. Weibo Gaming, definitely playable. Depends on the bottom lane matchup. I think June also can pop up here against Carsa because he's done that before. Um, I like I like June quite a bit over Carsa here. Um, statistically, like I said, Carsa has been better, but I think bigger sample size and all that is hurting June's stats a little bit. But I like June here today. All right. Let me see, where is this? Like I said, light hasn't been producing that much damage, right? So, yeah, BLG wins. All right. So I have one underdog, two underdogs winning today. Oh, we'll see. All right, and then in, in the LCK, it's going to be a much shorter analysis. Um, DRX has been probably the ninth or 10th best team in the LCK, and that is the bottom two teams. <laughs> there are only 10 teams in the LCK, so I'm going to have to pick HLE winning. I'm pretty confident. Um, Clid has been a little better in the last series, um, in their first series win. Um, so I like HLE and the Viper has looked pretty good in game three of that series. And then Zika has been Zika, the world champion. So, and then Croco for DRX, the jungler has been really, really bad. I think he was actually the worst jungling, uh, player in the LCK so far by earn gold per minute. Yeah. You see Croco. So that is not very good. Um, I like that Clint definitely is the weakest part of HLE, in my opinion, at jungle. But going up against even a worse, <laughs> an even worse jungler in Croco at the moment, I think that will be masked and um, exerting lane dominance by Zika and Viper in the bottom lane. I like HLE here today. And then T1 versus Nongshim. Come on now. Nongshim is another bottom tier team. Another bottom tier team that, I mean, T1 coming off of a loss. Yeah, I mean, give me T1 any day, but especially in this spot. So I think the kill upside is pretty bad, though, compared to uh, the Chinese matchups. Um, these Korean matchups have uh, total kills over there at 22 and 21, and the combined kills per minute metric is actually pretty bad, as you can see here. Um, so, I, I, you know, you, you, you'll probably want to stack, you know, some LPL teams today. Um, but HLE won't be too bad. I think that's probably the best LCK team that I think um, I would like to use um, that can have some potential to pop off and have a high kill upside, but I just feel like there's six teams in the China today, right? So, you know, make, make sure you mix and choose amongst the Chinese teams. I think that will be the prime optimal way to go. Anyway, so that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, like I said, uh, reach out to me at DFS Chan on Twitter or on YouTube. Otherwise, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please, please hit the like button below. And yeah, good luck out there. Let's make some money. Bye-bye.